Hello and welcome to this Terrain Composer 2 example tutorial. After you import Terrain Composer, it's in that folder. Um, make sure you have DirectX 11 enabled. You can select it in Project Settings Player, uh, enable it here, and make sure you have linear lighting enabled. Gives better results. Okay, let's load the first example scene. Uh, click on the readme file. Here you have five steps of what to do. First you need to download the example pack. It goes to Mega and you can download it through your browser. Then you need to import the package and also the stamp pack you need to import. Uh, then you need to import the default characters here. And that's basically it. And then we can create our terrains. We can open the Terrain Composer window. Uh, here we change the folder to save the terrains and then click Create. Creates three by three tiles. We open the Terrain Composer window. Uh, we dock it. And then click Generate. The cool thing about Terrain Composer is that it supports multiple terrain tiles. Uh, you don't have to do anything for it, it's just automatic. And um, everything is generated on the GPU, which gives it almost instant results. Now I'm going to put the resolutions higher. And you can see even putting it higher, it generates really, really fast. So you can see the different tiles being built up. And let's see how it looks. So this is what you get out of the box. It does not include image effects. If you want to have similar results like my Terrain Composer 2 trailer, you need um, some more assets like speed trees, better terrain shading like RTP3. Uh, I will show this in another video. Uh, here you can see the documentation. Let's open another example. First, I reduce the terrain tiles to four two times two, and then you can open more examples here by file open, and I open mountain island. This is a procedural terrain mixed with a, a mountain stamp. Uh, uh, let's play some water now. I search for water day and scale it up, and then raise it a little bit to about here. Terrain Composer 2 has a complete noise library built in, so you have uh, many noises available and all are randomizable. They have a seed and you have a global seed and you can change many settings. Uh, water can be imported with uh, environment. Okay, let's take a look how this looks. First we uh, place the first person controller. I made that it automatically scans for the terrain height, so you won't spawn under the terrain or high above. I hired the resolutions and let's take a look. The bumpiness is done in the first layer with a noise called Jordan. You can scale it down to get it a bit more smooth. You can see this island looks pretty nice. So I want to show you now um, some easy manipulations that you can do. I disable the trees, the grass and the objects. I disable the noise and you can see how it subtracts from the circle. You can move the billow noise around and then you can scale it up and down. And each node is just a game object so it reacts exactly to what you're used to. You can scale the, the stamp up and down. Everything is parented to the layer. So if you rotate, then everything inside rotate. If you move it, everything inside moves. Let's create a bigger island. So I'm going to create more terrain tiles to make it fit. And now I can just select the layer and hit Ctrl D like with a game object and it just duplicates the layer. Then we can move it around. We can set how it blends with the other layer. I put it to difference and this creates a nice river looking uh, edge. And then again, I duplicated the layer, scale it a little bit up. The cool thing about Terrain Composer's layer system is that you can make changes anytime during the workflow. 
So you can say, oh, this mountain needs to go a little bit to the left, to the right, it needs to be a little bit higher or lower. Let's take a look in play mode. And you can see the results from one island with one mountain to a big island with three mountains in just one minute. Okay, let's open another example. I reduce the terrain tiles again. You can save any moment your project with file save. Now I won't do that, so I click open, example biome. Uh, this is a terrain where you can see like desert on the left and more grassland with trees on the right with buildings. And let's position the first controller and take a look how this looks. I hired the resolutions and now just walk a bit around. With terrain composers it's easy to create biomes. Mixing different landscapes like desert, canyon, mountains, grasslands, different types of forests. Basically possibilities are endless. So this is what you get out of the box with terrain composer. You can just open these examples and change them around. Here you can see uh, we come in the desert so the green grass is gone. Okay, now we're going to reset again the objects, the grass and the trees. And I show you some easy uh, manipulations in the height map that you can do. So we just select this layer. We can move this cliff around. We can rotate it. Scale it up and down. Then I duplicate it with Ctrl D. Scale it down. So now I'm going to show you how to join two layers together in a group. So you can select a group and then they uh, react together. So Positioning a little bit, I right click to create a layer group, which is red. I parent the layers to it. And you can see you can move each individually still. But if you select the layer group and then you see the pivot, I lock the children so I can move the pivot around, then undo it. And then you can move these two layers as a group, rotate, scale. And this makes Terrain Composer really powerful. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.